This is a beef knuckle, and today we're gonna cook it. Ow! It's 11 pounds of beef with no bone, and the beef knuckle is right behind the flank, in the back legs area under the belly. Should, my first time ever cooking it, we're gonna put it on the smoker, garlic, salt, pepper, olive oil, that's it, and smoke it for hours. We're estimating an hour and a half per pound at 11 pounds, do the math. It's like 18 hours of cooking, good shredded beef. Here we go, it's time to get started. So now that we rinsed our meat, we trimmed off a little bit of the fat. It's super simple. Oil, lots of garlic. We're actually gonna shove it right into the meat, salt and pepper, and we're just gonna get started. Gotta wash the hands first. With goat milk soap. Oh, and closed the refrigerator. It's yelling at me. So we're just gonna stab it a couple times, whole bunch of times. Yeah, so violent. And then we're gonna just shove lots of garlic into those holes like that. That's the plan. It's all seasoned, ready to go. We're gonna let this rest for probably about a half an hour to 45 minutes at room temperature because it'll take us that long to get the smoker ready. Then it's gonna go on the smoker. We're gonna throw the thermometer in it and cook it all the way to like 195 degrees, which could take close to 18 hours. Don't know, because we've never done this before. Right, Quinn? Yeah. We're outside now, we got the smoker ready. In this video, we're not gonna talk about how to get your smoker ready, but the coals are hot and we're gonna dump them in. All right, if you don't know how to get this thing, this chimney up and running, super hot. You could YouTube that, there's plenty of videos. We're gonna take the top of our smoker here, put it on, and then take our meat and put it on as well. Here we go, that's it, we're gonna set our temp to 235 degrees. I have to put a meat thermometer in the meat. No reason to put it in now, because we know this is gonna take lots and lots of hours. We'll put that in later when we go to check on it. Smoker's going good. It's up to temp. It's sitting right at about 235. We're only like an hour in. We got a long way to go. So it's been about five hours. We had to refuel the smoker. Temp was dropping into the low 220 range. Again, we want it at like 235. That's what we have the temp set at with our stoker, which is like a fan. You can see it right there on the gas, on the gas, oh my gosh, on the paint can. It basically measures the temperature, and if the temperature is too low, it adds more oxygen. It blows a fan, kind of like a furnace. You heard it, and it turns off, and it turns on, and it'll, it'll do that like all day long. So it's smart. It, basically makes my smoker for nerds like me. And it keeps the temp perfect. Temp was getting a little low, couldn't keep the fire going because there just wasn't enough fuel. I needed to add more charcoal. But now it's time to add the meat thermometer. So we're gonna open it for the first time in five hours. Look at that guy. Starting to look really, really good. It's got a long, long time to go still. Long time to go. I'm guessing it is nowhere near temperature. So we're gonna stick this little probe in there. Right into the middle. Then we're gonna throw the cover back on. And like I said, we're going for shredded beef. So like tacos, burritos, stuff like that. We're going to like 195 internal temp. We're only at 148, uh, 149. It's done. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Look at that guy. I know it doesn't look great, but we're gonna, we're, oh, it's nice and crusty. The little garlics. You're not gonna eat these, by the way. But uh, yeah, let's see, let's see what happens. The question is, did it come out good? Never cooked a beef knuckle before in my life. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a roast. I'm a little concerned it didn't have enough fat on it. Our goal was to have pulled beef like like a shredded beef 
So let's move you guys a little closer yep. and see how this turned out. All right, let's see. Yep. Just came off the smoker about an hour ago. Oh my God, look at that, guys. Look at that. I think we did good. I think we did amazing. Look at that. That would have been great on our egg sandwiches that we just cooked for breakfast. Look at that steam. We've got cloves of garlic right inside. This is super hot. I grab something. Can't find it. Typical. All right, coming over. Okay. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look, look, look. Right there, right there. What's that, Quinn? Onion. No, no. A garlic clove that was cooked inside the middle of this piece of meat. So now, this might be a little dry. We are going to add a little flavor to it. Tiny, tiny flavor. Doesn't look dry. Look at that piece. Oh, that piece looks good. All right, this is your tacos, your burritos, your egg sandwiches, your quesadillas. Heck, you can throw a little bit of this on top of a salad. Oh, yeah. So, now that that's all broken up. Oh, shit. Whoops. That wasn't good. Oh, no. Let's clean you guys off. You just fell into the, into the bus tub of meat. Oh, no. All right, so we're actually gonna add a little bit of olive oil. That's a lot. That was not a lot. We're gonna add... Mild Twinkie. Mild Swanky sauce. Link in description below. Just a little, oh, we're stuck. Okay. That's because it's made with real food and real food gets caught in a little hole at the end of my squeezer. Just a little mild mm -hmm. Swanky sauce right there. Mix it up. Mix it up. Oh, you know what else you can do with this, Quinn? What? You could literally put this on a sandwich roll, cold, cold. with a little mayo and tomato and make it like a pulled beef sandwich, like a cold one. You could do that. You can make it a hot one with some cheese. Steamy. Like steamy hot, yeah, like a like Philly cheesesteak almost, yeah. That a little more. Okay, a little more of that. That olive oil oh, no. in there. Oh no, I'm gonna be out. Yeah, we're out. That's okay, we'll get more. Yeah, Toss that cool. around a little, and there it is. We've got some shredded beef. You know the other thing we could do? We could actually put this. Oh, that's good, Quinn. What's yeah. the swanky sauce? Yeah, you wanna try it? No. Go ahead. No. No? Okay, he's not gonna try it. All right, that's it. That's our shredded beef knuckle with a little bit of swanky sauce at the end. And um, hope oil. you enjoyed. Oh my God, it smells amazing. It's so yummy. Check out all our other recipes. You could click on some of these little boxes, especially this one right over my face and the one over his face. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.